All right. What's so what is 2023, yeah? It is. And you know, when I'm looking for a co-host that's male, I need someone who is so handsome that regardless of what we say, people are going to listen. I think he's out here somewhere. Did I, did I succeed? Welcome to the stage, Mr. Christian Hagen. Yes, sir. A man that I never thought that I would be able to call a friend. Well, you do. Because you were just such an icon. And now you stand with me. What are we talking yes, about today, Christian? We're talking about Parmigiani, yes. which is actually one of the most wonderful brands in Switzerland for many, many years. But when Guido, a good friend of ours, actually, I'm proud to be calling him a friend, actually. Yeah. He came out and in seven months, he made an incredible turnaround a watch brand, mind you, which is quality like yep. nothing else. Yes, but can I argue with you a little bit? Let's, of course. Uh, we started on a nice note, but now mm -hmm. we get punchy. All right. I don't think Parmigiani had an identity before Guido that I could actually say to someone in an elevator. Listen, I would skip <laughs> the know? presentations of Parmigiani <laughs> during SISS. Every year. It was so boring. Sorry. And it so was. every year was so confusing. But since Guido came in, there's a mm -hmm. consistency and yeah. there's a there's a mythology around the impact this man's had because it is so deep in terms of the recognition. Last year, the Retropon GMT, which is just over here. Right over here in this window. Won the fair. Look, we will get into the, the products now, but yeah. this is the mark of one man. And I just want to talk about two things. Firstly, the length of time it took Guido to, to turn this, this Titanic around. Do you know how long it is? Seven months. 19 days. Really? Yeah. 19 days? He redesigned the entire collection in 19 days, including the logo. And he's right over there. I'll give you a challenge. Summarize this year in an elevator ride. Surprising because unexpectedly, I mean, we did think that we had a great thing in our hands, but the size of the, the, the response was is overwhelming. It's perfectly what we had in mind that would have happened. And this is, you cannot plan everything in life, but this came out well. <laughs> so that's actually a message to the TikTok followers of Time and Tide. <laughs> Success does not come easy. That's a great note to finish on. We've got to get through the rest of these watches. Yeah, let's talk about some new novelties. What do we got? Wonderful. Come over here. The split seconds chronograph. You took a an intake of breath mm -hmm. when you when you flip this watch over because from the front it looks like a simple chronograph. Yeah. Obviously, a split seconds chronograph has that trick because it's it has a little hand hiding. Yeah. So you don't know what magic it has. But what's behind? But Parmigiani is good with the hands hiding, aren't they? I know, this is a theme. It's all about the hiding hands. Yep. So Not the jazz hands. <laughs> Incredible movement. But here's the thing, you, you, you think you see the beauty in the front of a watch. Of course you do. Beautiful dials, beautiful hands, everything hand polished. Yep. Everything produced at that wonderful Vauché movement uh, manufacturing. But when you turn it around, it's like diving into a world of micro-mechanics. Yes, it's a three-dimensional yes. metaverse. Yeah. And, and this is a gold movement. So the weight in the hand of this watch is off the chart. The architecture is built away from the escapement in this sort of, it almost radiates out from the escapement. So you get this stunning, you know, movement. It, you know, sometimes you look at a case back and it's just, a, it's a mess. It's, it, it's a nice mess, but it doesn't have anything that the eye can conceive. This one's been very carefully designed to build out from the escapement. It looks amazing. It does. Let's move on. But it's not the only thing that nope. looks amazing with Parmigiani. So this was the watch, I would say the Retropoint GMT was the single watch that rocked the fair last year. I think it was because you also, you have to consider in the watch industry, what is new. Yeah. Have you ever seen a Ratsabon GMT before? No, first time. Were you missing an AM PM indicator on the front? No. Who cares about the details with this? The elegance <laughs> and the clarity and the legibility of the GMT Ratsabon is just amazing. Also, we have to remember, Guido took away the Parmigiani name off the dial because we thought of Italian cheese. Yeah. Now it's PF, Thunder. Yeah. Indeed. Amazing. So we've taken what was the block rocking beat from last year. Nice and we have, music reference. We have put it in a rose gold case with a the same Milanese blue dial. So really not, not much to report in terms of the, the specs of the watch. The two big changes are obviously that luscious rose gold case, which to me actually shows more of the finishing. Look at the, the construction of the bracelet, like the, the outer flank of the bracelet. There's a seamless integration of the outer flank of the links into the lugs there. 
mirror polish, and then you have this step section, which is actually really hard to polish because it's it's not the same level as the rest of the, the, the bracelet. And then you have the, the brushed center links, which is that lovely, to me, it, Christian, it, it evoked uh, the Vacheron 222 in terms of that warmth of the gold. Yeah, well, well it, it was a different kind of gold yeah. with the 222. True. But I think also what is really important to mention is that whenever uh, even we have a, a steel tonda from uh, Parmigiani, the bezel is made of platinum. Yep. So you still have that extreme luxurious gefühl even though you go with a steel watch and the one thing that i was waiting for like the easter egg when i first saw this watch the second uh hour hand was interleaved perfectly <laughs> underneath the the normal hour hand so i was saying to guido what color are we going to see under here because there needs to be a contrast the answer is it's a white gold when the gmt hand is in action it's rose gold as well as the pusher on the steel crown. Exactly. How elegant so is elegant. that? There's a new Rattrapant story because Guido was faced with a dilemma here. How do I match the, the storytelling and how do I continue yeah. this block rocking beat this year? What was the answer? Minutes. Minutes. On the new Minute Rattrapant, you have two pushes. One, is for the single minutes. Yep. The other one, five minute intervals. Yes. How elegant is that? And also, if you want to extend your, your deadline time, you can do that mid selection. And of course, it's just an easy flyback motion with the yeah. retro, bang. It just yeah. it returns to under the hand like nothing ever happened. So elegant. Elegant. And oh, the haptics of this, like the feel of this. I mean, it's a, it's a thing, isn't it? The we hat never, We never ever talked about Parmigiani like this no. before. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Never ever. We can How just go deeper this? and deeper. So, this is the award winning 36 mm. The 36 millimeters. And we were talking about the elegance of what is and what is 2023. Yep. And even though that Andrew and I, we are somewhat tall, not tall as Dutch. Yeah. But still, you know, we like usually to have wear a 40. 42 millimeter, that's the sweet Usually. spot. Yeah. But if you wear the 36 millimeter Tonda, it doesn't emasculate you at all. And how do you feel about the diamond indexes? Because I'm looking at them now. That's a unique diamond setting, seriously. So they push in the, the, the precious stones from the side, yep. which is a unique diamond setting. I've never seen it before. No. And it is one of the reasons why the 36 Tonda PF actually won the GBHG. There it is. Let's keep moving. Look at this. Crazy. What do they call this? The precious sheer white? Sheer weight. Precious white. Precious white. So I was asking when I had the presentation, is this white gold? And the subtle answer was platinum. Yeah. Of course it's platinum. Elegance can be heavy. Yes. And this is a heavy duty PF Tonda. And I asked Guido, ask Guido about, because there is a profusion of platinum this year. We have this model in platinum. We have three calendar models in platinum. Mm -hmm. And Guido said it's because it's so subtle, not showing your wealth in an extravagant way. Because of course it either looks like steel or white gold. But it's white metal. It is. White so metal. It's very subtle. Here, oh. the tourbillon, the position of the tourbillon is between seven and eight. Why That's an explanation to that. Yeah. Michel Parmigiani, who's sitting right behind us, he was actually born at eight minutes past, past seven. seven. So that's a little bit of not only jazz hands in Parmigiani, yeah. but also poetry, <laughs> which is very, very elegant. Come, you got to see this one. This in the metal, finally. Yeah. Now, do you wow. remember, this one went viral. Crazy. Remember when it came out, the renders were just flying everywhere? But also the color. Yeah, no, because the of the color. The sheer color of it, it is yeah. crazy. But when you know more about the watch, yep. and you realize the calendars is not your usual day-to-day -day calendar in our part of the world. Oh my gosh, you can tell it's not. So what we have here is a, is a Parmigiani celebration of civilizations. When you think about the differences between world civilizations and cultures, it comes down to the way we mark time. True. Do we look to the sun? Do we look to the moon? Is it a solar calendar? Is it a lunar calendar? Is it, for example, in, in China, a sol lunar calendar, which takes into account both? So we have these, these calendar models now. This one 
with a burgundy dial, the other three with this very sort of sober refined gray dial, but we have a Gregorian calendar, we have an Islamic calendar, yep. we have Chinese. a Chinese calendar, and they all have different ways of marking time. I'm not gonna go into them because we're meant to be a short video, but truly, a, again, a, such a, a Parmigiani thing to do, to, to express this, this complex idea in a simple and very attractive way. I think it's so sweet of Andrew to say that we're gonna enter Parmigiani and do a short video. Here's the thing, <laughs> you can't these days do a short video of anything Parmigiani because no. every, everything they do, every single detail, every little it's part of the metal great. or the precious metal has a story, yep. the jazz hands and the poetry. <laughs> it's important. And it has Christian Hagen. Christian, thank you for joining us for this like incredible parties. journey. We like parties. We'll see you on the next party. We're good.